Hi, Assalamu alaikum. In the previous video, I showed you how to convert a 2D model into a 3D model. So that was uh, that was more of a general example to anybody who wants to learn console. Uh, in this video, I'm going to get a little bit more specific because this is uh, sort of tailored for my friend Amani. Uh, but I hope that you know any, uh, anybody can learn from this. So. This is the same exact model used before in the previous video, um, but I'll explain it in this video because I didn't explain it before. So it's basically a geometry that has copper here and silicon here, and our intent was to study uh, the electric field um, behavior if you choose two points, let's say this point and that point or any other points. So, um, Amani, you should define the domains from, okay, I'll, I'll just show you for once the, uh, the model builder, you go to electrostatics and then you choose domains and then you follow the things that I'm going, I'm going to say now and, or then you should, you choose boundaries and then follow the other stuff that I'm going to say. Okay, so going back here, the domains uh, domains that I defined are uh, charge conservation here and here, and you should define initial values of the electric potential here and here, and then you define boundaries. Okay, you can skip this if you really want to just learn how to plot uh, the differences between plotting in 2D and 3D. I'll just get to that in one minute. Uh, so, there's a, since we're evolving this 2D model to be a 3D model, we should define axial symmetry here, and, um, and then other specific uh, boundary definitions that our professor wanted. So we define zero charge here and zero charge here, and um, electric potential here. Uh, the value I chose for the electric potential was 10 volts and then the last definition is the ground which is over here. Uh, after you define everything you go back to the model filter and you go to study and then compute and then result and then plot all. Okay. And, and then you go to the electric potential and you choose two points. You choose, uh, uh, if you want to choose the first point, then you click here and then go back here and choose this point and then uh, choose this option and go back and choose the second point. And then uh, you'll have a plot generated, 1D plot, which looks like this this is fairly what we expected because uh, forgot to mention that the half of this the half of the circle that I uh, defined in the geometry has a 10 nanometer radius so you would expect that the electric field inside um, the conducting sphere is well it's a circle now but you know, when you revolve it, it's going to be a sphere. So, um, the electric field inside conductors is zero. So, and which is described here in the graph. So, it's going to be maximum at the surface of the conductor and then it will drop down. Uh, this is good. This is in 2D. But the problem we had was when we switched to 3D. Okay. Uh, in 3D, this is how it looks like, the electric potential, okay? And if you choose two points like I showed you before, um, let's say one here and the other here, this point doesn't mean that you're penetrating the surface. You're, it's just somewhere on the surface, okay? And that's why you get a really weird graph. 
which looks like this. This is, this is not what we expect. And how to solve this? Well, you basically solve this by, um, okay, this is how I solved it. So I'll just show you the steps now. You go to um, here. You go to the model builder again, and then data sets, and then you choose cut line 3D, and that's what I did. Okay, I choose two points, but let's focus on the second. Um, the reason why I focus now on the second is because. I chose, uh, I'm trying to do the same thing I did before in the 2D model. So the first point is going to be 0, 0, 0, which is in the core of the sphere. And then um, I chose to go horizontally on the x axis because that's what I did in, in 2D and I'm just trying to do the same thing. So it's just one line over x and there's um, the other coordinates are just zeros. And the results I got are the same, the, the, the results that we expect. Let me show you now. Not one. It's here. And here you go. Same behavior as expected before. That's it. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask me anytime. See ya.